second wave, the show where we are talking to companies to find out how things are looking on the ground and what they have planned for the future at a time when everybody is talking about the great India opportunity. I'm here at the Biocon facilities in Bangalore to catch up with Kiran Masundar Show. She's one of India's most well-known business leaders and she was propelled into the world stage when her company Biocon made its spectacular debut on the stock markets in 2004. A listing that made Kiran Mazumdar Shaw the richest woman in India. But five years on, India's biggest biopharmaceutical company has had its share of ups and downs. While last year's slowdown didn't quite hit the firm, the big shake-up happened in 2006 when the prices of its key cholesterol-controlling statins portfolio collapsed after it went off patent. And the analysts who had lauded the company began to question its plans. But since then, Biocon has come a long way, broad-basing its products, forging strategic alliances and betting big on innovation that could propel it into a totally different league. So what's the broader strategy? Well, I think, I think people are still trying to understand our business model. And I must uh, sort of share with you the fact that right from the very beginning when we took the company public, I think we had actually shared with the analysts and the investors our strategy, our uh, sort of uh, strategic intent. But I think people didn't really kind of take that strategy too seriously. Because right up front we had said that statins was an, just a, an entry point into biopharmaceuticals, but it wasn't the be-all and end-all of our strategy. Unfortunately, uh, I think the markets kind of perceived uh, statins to be our main business thrust. And it was actually just an entry point for us. Whereas all along what we have actually you know, enunciated very clearly is the fact that we would move uh, along parallel tracks. One was the sort of s small molecule, lower entry barrier kind of uh, API kind of uh, opportunities. And the other was going to be a much more challenging kind of uh, regulatory path, which was about to begin with insulins and biosimilars and eventually move on to uh, novel programs. So we have had a very strong strategy to finally lead to an innovator status. But Kiran, going back, we will talk about how you diversify and what is the new thrust area, etc. But going back to that time, did you also misjudge the potential of the statin market? Because you, you were, were one of the few companies that went ahead